Hey guys, and welcome back to Scotty Knows. Um, new video, uh, what I'm gonna be doing today is actually working on the interior. Um, in the last video, um, I did get the motor running. Uh, I do wanna finish up the rear brake conversion. Um, however, while working on it, I did notice that I have the uh, wrong e-brake cable. So I'm gonna place an order for those. I got some work on the front. I'm gonna get the new hubs and all that good stuff. But today I'm gonna focus on getting the uh, dash put back in. So I'm gonna work on a couple things. I got a few things to tighten up. We get the dash in and start working on the inside. So let me grab my dash and uh, let's get moving. All right, so I went ahead and just set the dash in there. Uh, there's quite a bit of wires I got to hook up underneath uh, for the thermostat here. Um, got to hook up the little cable for the thermostat. Some of the cables behind there. I don't know if you get it in, so let me work on that a little bit. I'll get that finished and then I'll give you guys an update. So it's coming along. I did get the gauge in there. Just kind of screwed in there tight. Trying to get everything kind of mocked up where it's supposed to go. Got the dimmer switch in. Well, now I'm gonna actually probably work on getting this uh, steering wheel put back up. Just kind of get things picked up so I can start working back on the inside. So let me work on that. All right, so I got all my hardware for the steering wheel. I'll put everything in a bag and label it. That way I don't know where it goes. But these two nuts here, I should go in here. There's two of them. They go through the holes here. So I'll put that up first. And then I'll secure this, this piece underneath with the uh, bolts. So that's gonna be kind of tough to see. So that's what I'm gonna do. So let's get it up there. guys welcome back uh, it's actually the next day here scotty knows um so i'm still working on this wiring figuring out what i'm going to use what i'm not going to use pretty much i'm not going to use what i have wrapped up here i did make it to the hardware store and actually pick up some connectors that i'm going to need uh, to connect to the relays which i have in here so i'm going to figure that out with this auto lock system like i said i'm not good at wiring so wiring is not my expertise but i'll see if i can show you guys the previous system I had installed here, so I gotta compare the old diagram to the new diagram, see which color codes go where and where it runs. Some of them run up to the ignition switch um, and things like that. So I wanna make sure, basically I'm just upgrading this system. So it shouldn't be too bad. So I'm gonna get an attack on that. So it's actually a little bit cold in the garage today, but you know, before I tackle that auto lock system, I'm gonna actually tackle some hardware situations I have in the rear uh, to get that sub brace on. I'm gonna see if I can get that on. I should have the hardware necessary to do that. Um, so let me do that. It's a little bit easier than this wiring. Uh, so let me see if I can get that completed. And I'll put the other lower control arm on the uh, passenger side to match the driver's side. So let me take you under the car and we'll hop on that.
guys, so as I sit here, I'm gonna go ahead and I kinda got this one on. I wanna keep it loose till I get the subframe uh, up and it's installed completely. So I do have my little hardware kit here. I do have the Function 7s. So these things work pretty good. The bolts that they gave me are the wrong thread pitch. So I went to the hardware store and picked up some of these. So I know a lot of people are gonna say to use original bolts, but they're not long enough. So these will work in the end term. Again, it's gonna be a shell car, so it's not like it's gonna be driving every day, but you know, at the end of the day, I wanna make sure it's done right. So yeah, let me get hop on that. So these things actually go behind and they'll mount up to the subframe. So I'm gonna try to get up under there and get that started. Um, see if I can give you guys some views of that. So let's get moving. Did forget to put the washers on here, so I had to take those back out and put the washers on. But it's in, it's solid, everything's back to where it goes. Just have to tighten this bolt and it should be good to go. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so it's the next day here at Scotty Knows. Um, thank you guys for watching still. Um, I do kind of want to show you. I'm working with a bunch of wiring stuff in here. Nice spaghetti mess here. I'm figuring that out, uh, but right now, I actually got a nice little package in the mail. I got the rear brake lines, so I'm gonna probably hook those up here, and then uh, hopefully they'll work, and I'll get it connected inside the cab. All right, guys, so I think that's going to do it for today's video. Um, I went ahead and got the brake lines installed, got them mounted underneath, also connected to the uh, emergency brake. I do have a couple of adjustments I got to make for it to tighten it up a little bit, but I'll hop on that as long as some other things I got to do. So uh, stay tuned for the next episode. I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, um, leave your feedback below, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.